I saw a YouTube video today about how for the past three decades is that right? Yeah, 30 years the index of women's happiness has been decreasing in relation to the index of men's happiness. The researchers uh, just presented these facts without trying to explain why this might be and I was watching the pundits in the video and they were mystified about why women would be increasingly unhappy seeing as for the past 30 years they have been receiving increasingly more rights more privileges in comparison to men so why do you think it is that as women receive more rights and privileges their unhappiness increases um, yes this study was done in the US if you look at the past 30 years what has been happening among women in the US is that they have been receiving more and more so-called equal rights it's just uh, the thickness that these rights are all spoken about in relation to men the rights to have equal pay uh, voting rights well, that was long ago the rights to have equal employment to have no restrictions in terms of what kind of jobs they can take in the military in law enforcement even in the in clergy and while I, I, I believe in equal rights there's just something about the past 30 years that women have been fighting for and not just fighting for but have also been told that they should be fighting for the rights to do everything that a man can do this was well exemplified in the 80s like in movies such as 9 to 5 when women started to enter the workforce and find equality with men especially in terms of going into management so while equal rights are a good value what we've been seeing is that women have been fighting for and demanding and being told to demand the rights to do everything a man can do 30 years later what we have is women who have the rights to essentially be men now I would imagine if you had 30 years of men being pressured to demand the rights to do everything a woman can do I would imagine that in 30 years you would find most men to be unhappy as well there is a saying attributed to Marilyn Monroe which would I guess seem pretty politically incorrect but apparently she said I don't mind living in a man's world as long as I can be a woman in it as politically incorrect as that would sound it is immensely wise as a man if the world were to be suddenly taken over by women whatever that would mean I wouldn't really care 
I wouldn't mind living in a woman's world as long as I could be a man in it. Extrapolate that. Bring it higher. It means that I wouldn't mind living in any sort of world as long as I could be myself in it. Could this then be the cause of women's increasing unhappiness, generally speaking, in aggregate? Over the past 30 years in the US, where they have been pushing and have pushed each other to do everything a man can do. And in as much as they have succeeded in earning the right to do everything a man can do, to that degree they have become less of themselves. Hence, unhappy. Are we not the most happy when we are the most ourselves? <laughs>